Stop what you are doing. What if I told you that the entire internet, as we know, it is built on a lie? A fragile house of cards controlled by a handful of companies. Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they hold the keys to everything. Your data, my data, your applications, my applications, and our whole entire digital life. But what if there was a way to take back control? What if the next evolution of the internet was already here, running silently in the background, ready to flip the entire system on its head? This isn't a theory. It exists. And the governments and corporations that depend on the old way of doing things are in for a massive shock. Stay with me. Because what I'm about to reveal will change how you see the entire digital world forever. Let's send it. It's me, Domenico, again, and today we're talking about the Internet Computer or ICP. And no, this isn't just another old coin trying to pump and dump. This is a fundamental reimagining of what the Internet can be. Forget everything you think you know about blockchain. We're not just talking about digital money here. We're talking about a complete decentralized cloud that could one day and eventually one day replace the trillion dollar cloud computing industry. Now, I know that sounds like a massive claim. I know, but stick with me because by the end of this video, you'll understand why the very foundations of our digital world are about to be shaken. And more importantly, you'll see the opportunity that most people are sleeping on and hey, if you like the content that gives you the edge, do me a favor and hit that button and subscribe. It tells the YouTube algorithm we're on to something big. So think about how the internet works right now. Every time you use an app, a website, a service, you're essentially renting space on a server which is owned by a massive corporation. It's called cloud computing and it's a brilliant business model for them to have all the power they can change the rules, raise prices, or even shut you down. We saw the potential for a decentralized world, right? With Bitcoin, the ability to have a currency that no single entity controls. Then came Ethereum, which introduced smart contracts, allowing us to build applications on the blockchain. But even with these incredible innovations, there were still huge problems. Most of these decentralized apps they were still running on their front end and storing their data on centralized servers like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, or Google, just to name a few. It was like putting a decentralized engine in a car built and owned by the old guard. This is a critical fall. There's no two ways about that, that almost no one talks about in the cryptosphere. But a team of some of the brightest minds in cryptography and computer science led by Dominic Williams and the Definitive Foundation, saw these problems years ago. They asked a revolutionary question. What if we could build an internet that was truly decentralized from top to bottom, and an internet that runs entirely on the blockchain itself? And that's exactly what ICP has done. It's the world's first sovereign compute layer that's fully decentralized on blockchain. Now, I know that sounds like a bunch of jargon. So let's break it down. Imagine the internet like a giant global computer. Right now, that computer is owned by a few powerful landlords. If you want to run an app, you have to pay them rent. And also, you must follow their rules. ICP is completely different. It is a public computer that nobody owns and everyone can use. And it's created by a network of independent data centers all over the world. This means that for the first time, you can build and run software directly on the internet itself without needing to go through a big tech company. This is what running entirely on chain means. It's not just the transactions, it's the entire application. We are talking about the code, the data, everything. This gives it some incredible properties. First, security. Because it's on a decentralized network, it's incredibly resistant to hacks and cyber attacks. Think of it like trying to rob a bank that exists in thousands of places at once. 
near impossible. Second, sovereignty for governments or large companies. This is an absolute game changer. They can build digital service without relying on foreign cloud providers. This means they have full control over their own data and infrastructure. It's absolute digital independence. And third, predictable cost. With traditional cloud services, your bills can be unpredictable, and they are, and grow over time. ICP is designed to have a more stable, predictable cost structure, which is huge for long-term planning and budgeting. Think of it like this. Most blockchains are like calculators. They can handle transactions, sure, but ICP is like a full blown world-sized computer that can run complex applications at scale. And we're talking about Web2 speed. Okay, so what does this mean for you and me? Why is this a massive opportunity right now? Because the world is waking up to the fact that our current digital infrastructure is vulnerable. We're seeing more and more of a push for digital sovereignty. Nations and massive companies are realizing they can't have their critical infrastructure controlled by a few external corporations. This isn't just a niche crypto thing anymore. This is about the future of national security, global enterprise, and the whole internet itself. We're talking about citizen services. We're talking about like government services, chain management, internet of thing grids, secure identity systems like national identities, all running on a truly decentralized network. And with the world getting more bifurcated, these systems are getting more fragile. And obviously these important services are getting more vulnerable by the day. So while everyone else is distracted by the latest meme coin fad, the smart money, and I mean the very smart money, is looking at the fundamental infrastructure that will power the next generation of the web. The growth in ICP in its ecosystem is real. With developers building everything from social media platforms to enterprise level systems entirely on chain. Now, let me be clear. This is not financial advice. You have to do your own research. But what I want you to do is start thinking differently. Look past the short-term price charts and see the bigger picture. I know people always say, what's your price prediction? Where is the price going? I don't care where the price is going. If I want to find something that's going to pump quicker, I will find that. I'm a professional trader. I know where price is going to go most of the time. But ICP is a medium long-term proposition because you need to understand the problem that ICP is solving. It is a problem that affects every single person, every single company, every single government that uses the internet. Because what? The whole world uses the internet. This is a wake up call. The infrastructure of tomorrow is not some far off dream. It's already here and it's functional. And you worry about short term price or short term price predictions. While other projects are still struggling with basic scalability and security, ICP is engineered for the long haul, built by world-class cryptographers and computer scientists. Think about the sheer scale of cloud computing market. We're talking trillions of dollars by 2030, and ICP is the only project positioned to build a decentralized cloud alternative, and it is the only solution. What happens when a small fraction of that market shifts over? And it will big time. And if you want to obviously know about cloud in more details, follow Bobby O at Cloud Foundation on X. And he goes really in depth down the rabbit hole of cloud. It's massive. You know, the network is growing. The technology is proven. There's no two ways about that. And the need for sovereign cloud compute layer has never been more obvious. The combination of real growth, Finite supply of ICP tokens points to one thing, an inevitable supply and demand shock. There's two ways about that. It's inevitable, but obviously we don't know exactly when. This is your chance to be early, to get in before the institutions inevitably do, before the government, before the world at large finally wake up. That's only a matter of time. Do your own research, not financial advice. So I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below, do you think the future of the internet will be centralized or decentralized. I believe it will be a hybrid model mixed between both. So, and that obviously will be ICP playing a big role 
regardless, it is inevitable. And what are your thoughts on ICP? And make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. Because I do my best to drop ICP Alpha and to keep you informed on the projects being built on ICP. And we're trying to track the metrics and growth from the ecosystem. So you don't want to miss the next videos that are going to be coming out. Look, the digital world is at a turning point as we speak. We have a choice. We can continue down the path of centralization where our digital lives are controlled by a few powerful entities, and not only controlled by them, insecure, where we lose our data, we lose our vulnerability, we lose the value in that data, or we can choose a different path, a path of true ownership, security, and freedom. And I believe that in a world bifurcated politically, we're gonna go down that hybrid model because it's just gonna be just too unsafe and insecure for governments to operate as they currently are. And ICP represents that choice. It's just more than just a cryptocurrency. It is a movement to rebuild the internet as we know it into what it's something that it was meant to be. We're talking open, free for everyone to use. So the future is being built right now as we speak. The question is, will you be part of it? So more importantly, stay sharp, stay informed, and stay decentralized. And I'll see you on the next video. And peace out.